Hello everyone, welcome back to Fast Four Motor Services. This week, we're going to be showing you how to flat and polish paintwork to get rid of dust nibs and texture and paint once it's been painted. This has been out in the sun for a week now, baking so it's nice and hard. So we'll take you through how to do that. Uh, Tom's on the TR7. He's in the process of taking the exhaust manifold off as it had a slight blow on one of the gaskets. And unfortunately on that, it's not a straightforward job um, as it's got a tubular manifold on it. So it's quite tight to get it in and out. Um, hopefully we'll have to lift the engine, but we might have to loosen it and lift the engine slightly to get it out. We're trying to get it out without lifting the engine. So, when it comes to flat and polished paintwork, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with 1500 grade cut and dry and some water, flat the whole bonnet down so it's completely smooth and matte. Once we've done that, we go over it with a 3000 grit tricep pad on a DA, and that takes out the 1500 grit uh, wet and dry marks. Then it'll be polished with a two stage polish. So it will be done with a cutting compound, change the mop head, and then done with a finishing polish. So we'll show you how we do it. If I'll just grab a quick cloth. What we'll do is we'll flatten a little area and show you what we made. So nice and wet. And just start flying it down. For a second, there we go. And this is what we can see. If you bring coming a bit closer, you can see just see the texture of the paint on the edges and a few little dust nibs, which we don't want. So we'll flat the entire bonnet, and then we'll go over with with a three thousand grit trizac pad, and then polish it. So I'm going to get on flatten this bonnet down and. When I've done that, we'll then cut, bring you back in and show you with the trizac pad the difference in that as well. So I'll get on doing that and we'll see you in a minute. Right, we've now flatted the whole bonnet down with 1500 grit, so it's a completely nice matte finish. There's no um, dust nibs left in it. The whole bonnet's a nice, even matte finish. So what we're going to do now is go over it with the 3000 grit on the DA, just to remove the 1500 grit marks. So it'll just need a lot less polishing. You could polish it up from 1500 grit to take a lot longer and a lot more polish and a lot more material. Do it with this and it'll already have a slight sheen to it. So it will then take, just, like I said, a lot less polishing. So if we grab the airline, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Right, we're now finished going over with 3000 grit and it's as you can see it's hopefully it picks up on the camera it's got a slight sheen to it it's still a matte finish but it's, there's a slight sheen compared to the 1500 grit so what we're going to use now is polishes and polish it back up to a nice high gloss finish first one we use is 3m fast cut secondly with a different mop head we use the 3m known traders blue top uh, it's ultra ultra thin in uh, ultra what that says um with the nice soft mop head so we'll start polishing it and to be honest these polishes are pretty much the that's what most trade uses they're pretty much the best 
you can get and it really does bring it up fairly well and fairly fast so we'll start polishing and see how it comes up hopefully it comes up really really glossy can do. let's give that a wipe off and have a quick look and there we go needs more polishing but as you can see that's already coming up really really quick so we'll get the whole bonnet done with the coarse compound and then the finishing compound and then well this job's done other than tomorrow i'll give the whole car clean up in a good valet and make it so it's all nice and spick and span for the owner to come pick up and what we'll also do in case any of you didn't watch last week we'll put some photos of before and after in as well and uh, so you can see that and then after that we'll give you a small update on the TR7 because we did Tom has managed to get the manifold out of that without lifting the engine surprisingly although it was extremely tight and it did look like we'd have to pull the engine out at one point or at least lift the engine considerably to get it out but it did manage to wiggle out so he's at the moment facing the manifold just to make it so it's nice and flat new gasets on it put it back together that's then done got a small update on the spitfire as well so i'm gonna get on polishing this and you will hopefully next shot you'll see it'll be this bonnet all done and gleaming so i'll get on polishing all right there we go we've now done the two stage polish on it and it looks like a nice shiny sheet of glass massive difference from what it was before like I said earlier, we'll put the pictures on before uh, of a before and after, so you can actually see the difference. Uh, so all that's left to do for me on this is to fit the, refit the washer jets and give the whole car a good clean up and a good valet. And that's that job all done and sorted. And I will actually have a good clear up around here as well because it's a bit of a mess. But <clears throat> Tom's now putting the manifold back on the TR7. Uh, might get it finished today. Don't know. How is it going? I'm hoping so. He's hoping to get it finished today. <laughs> so we'll hopefully get that up and running today. And uh, that's that all sorted back on the road. Pretty much every job done. Um, for ready for the summer. So it's just unlucky the manifold gasket decided it was going to start leaking. It's quite common when you've got a tubal exhaust manifold on, on a car. They're prone for blowing gaskets, one of things, unfortunately. So if we go over and look at the Spitfire, my daughter's little car, we've made a start on the bonnet. We've got the front wing on this side all back on. Um, I'll do a small repair to the, um, I, think it's, I think they call it the D-panel. Uh, so that's sort of a headlight panel and under structure support. Um, we'll put some pictures on Facebook of it, um, of it, of the repairs, and as it's come along. Um, but you've got the front wing on this side. The other side needs a small repair to the wheel arch, possibly the D panel as well. Hopefully not, but not a big job if it does. Put the new front wing on that side. Finish doing the body alignment on the car, and then that's ready to be completely stripped, body off the chassis. We can strip it back to bare metal again and start again, prep and paint it, and that's ready to be started to assemble. So that's the Spitfire. Now, we are now open full time. Um, we have got work coming in uh, on Monday. Uh, we've got a Wolseley 1800 coming in for quite a major lot of work. And also on Monday, we've got a Triumph Stag for you people that like the Stags. There's been a few comments we've asked uh, people asking about when we're going to do a Stag. Well, we've got one coming in on Monday. So we'll probably do a midweek video um, showing them cars when they get here and what we've got to do to them. Uh, but yeah, we are now open full time. So this is now up and running. We're still doing some small adjustments and teasing, teasing problems, getting ourselves organised and set up. Like I said, we are now open full time. So go on our Facebook page, 
for regular updates, obviously continue watching the videos. If you want to contact us and need work done in your car, contact us. We we're more than happy to help you. We are booked up for around two and a half months at the moment. Um, so if you want work done in your car, I'd suggest getting in the queue fairly sharpish because we are getting quite a few inquiries quite quickly, um, which is good for us. Um, it's really good for us. Um, not so good for the people in the car sorting out because they're having to wait, but we are trying to get through it as fast as we possibly can. So we'll see you in the middle of the week when we do a midweek. It'll only be a short video, just a quick update of the cars that we've got coming in. Um, and if you want to see the Astra all finished, cleaned and looking nice and shiny um, before, it's, before it leaves, there'll be some photographs on our Facebook page of it all done and cleaned up, ready to go. So please like and subscribe. It really helps us out and we'll see you next week.